All right, so it looks like it finished. It took about 32 minutes. That wasn't too bad. Um, so what do we want to do now? Why don't we actually go to PG Admin and let's just query the table and let's let's see what we what we have here. So I'm just going to refresh this for good measure. And if you go down to uh, let's decollapse that or just collapse it and go to schemas, public tables. And now these are the uh, tables that got created. So let's go ahead and query one of these tables. So I'm going to query the point table. So if you just right click and go to query tool, this is actually just to make sure before we bring it into post or uh, QGIS, let's just make sure that there's actually some data in here. This is kind of just a way to verify. So I'm just going to say select star from public dot planet osm point and I'm going to limit it to 100 results okay I'm not sure if it's just lagging behind or if there were no results okay there we go so you can see we got some data and a lot of the stuff's null and that's okay because for every point, some of these um, fields don't make sense. So for example, if you had uh, like a restaurant, for example, some of these things wouldn't make much sense. Like a barrier doesn't make sense for a restaurant. I, I guess what I'm saying is like all, all the points share, this, share the same schema. So um, you won't see data in everything. Um, so here we go, here's some data. Cape May, Lewis Ferry. And there's the geometry. Okay. Cool. So this kind of tells me that we've got data in here. So now let's go ahead and open up QGIS and we'll take a look at this. All right. So I'm going to just open up this blank template. <clears throat> and if you go, I'm just going to also bring in a, a base map real fast. And let's zoom in to wherever you're expecting there to be data. And now we actually need to make a connection to the Postgres database. So right here, there's this Postgres SQL. Just double click that. And this is actually a remnant from when I did it earlier. So I'm just going to remove that and click new connection. And let's just call this OSM connection. And host is localhost port database. That's going to be the name. So OSM. So whatever name uh, you have here, whatever you name that database. OSM and let's just do basic authentication. So this is going to be Postgres and then your password. And let's test the connection and it worked. So let's hit OK. And now you see we have this new connection here. And if you expand this, it's going to ask you for the password again. You can store it like there was a checkbox there that said you can store this information, but I didn't do that, um, but you can. So if I click OK, and here we have our connection. And my this server is a little bit slow, so this is kind of taking a while. I think this is going to be dependent on your hardware that you have the uh, database running on. Um, so for me, this isn't the most powerful computer, and it's it's just it's uh, taking a, a couple seconds to load, but that's normal. So just let this load for a couple seconds, and you should eventually see. Um, those five tables that we were looking at in PG Admin. Uh, we should see these in a couple seconds. All right, so that took about maybe a minute or two. It's a little longer than I would have expected, but hopefully for you, it loads a little bit quicker. And why don't we go ahead and right click and add the layer to the project. And again, since this is the Northeast, we're expecting to see data over here, and it looks like that's the case which is awesome. Here we go. It's uh, trying to load all this data. And yeah, I'm not going to sit here and let this load. So why don't we just do what we did in the uh, introduction video where we just, we filtered it. So just double click on your layer here. Uh, actually, you might have to right click and hit properties. Actually, I'm not, it's just acting a little slow, so I'm not sure. <clears throat> okay, there we go. And once you get the layer properties up, just go to the source tab here and query builder and we can do the amenity equals and we'll just search for a restaurant again uh, 
All right. Restaurant. And let's test it. See how many. 22,000. All right. Supply. Let's just zoom in a bit. And let's just take a look at a couple. So it's uh, Los Pinos Rustic Grill. Yeah, CNC Pizza. So yeah, you get the idea. It's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so that, that's it. That's the basics. That's all I wanted to show you. Um, hopefully you found this useful. And if you did, please uh, just leave a, a thumbs up and, and subscribe if you want. Um, as uh, something I, I kind of want to try is I want to download the entire OpenStreetMap data set and it, just attempt to load it into a database just for fun, just just for kicks, just to see uh, if it's even possible. I mean, I know it's possible. It's just has to do with, um, you know, the specs of your computer. Um, but, yeah, I think it's like 100 gigs or so. Let me just, if you go to the, um, I think, other sources. Oh, no. Go back. Planet OSM. Right here, 115 gigabytes. So that's my next project. Uh, if, if I can get it up and running successfully, I'll, I'll probably make a video about that. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching.